breakfast. Breakfast. Lana, how you doing? good time and we're on time which feels really good after that long of a distance with construction and everything else but welcome this is the factory as you saw the signage as we we're pulling up there is a civil war sesquicentennial event going on as we speak and we're kind of part of it which i find a little fascinating we're going to pull the bus over to the side of the parking lot uh, open up the under uh, carriage uh, gates for you guys to get on your luggage or things out of there that you want take a couple of minutes and stretch i'm going to dive in just quickly and check on things then we'll go in together in a few minutes uh, i'll show you where we're going to have our brunch uh, they're setting up where they may be done at this point uh, brunch is scheduled firmly for 10 30 so you're welcome to get some food in advance of course schedules uh, the secretary of state from tennessee uh, trey hargett uh, wanted to greet us about 10 30 in our space uh, it's a long old factory that's been renovated and there are civil war exhibits and displays and lectures going on throughout the facility we're on this end of the facility. You walk through it, it's all indoors. There's Liberty Hall, and Liberty Hall is kind of the place where most of their presentations are going on. So we are essentially right above the canopy on the second floor of Building 11, walking down the long building that you can see now looking out the window. If you just walk straight down while being indoors, you're gonna walk past other Civil War stuff and get to Liberty Hall where the lectures are happening, most of them at least. So. We'll kind of do that all together, but we want to give you a sense of how things fit together. Um, again, are we still on Central Time? We are. Yes, we are in Central Time. Thank you. Um, so 10:30, uh, please meet in the uh, space where we'll walk to initially here, or the brunch will be. Could be back there at 10:30. Be welcomed, hopefully, by the Secretary of State. <laughs>
just in my 26 year I'm starting to learn a little bit. <laughs> Warm up. But uh, I'm happy to be here with Secretary of State Trey Hargett, my former colleague in the House. And I bring you greetings. We are so glad that you're here today. I love history, especially the Civil War history. And I learned the Civil War since we came to the Commission here in D.C. Co chairman. who has a deeper appreciation for our countries and our state's rich history and, and being really, quite frankly, the champion of what we try to do in Tennessee State Labor and Archives and, and our partnership with the Department of Tourism, with the State Museum. Uh, Speaker McDaniel is a tremendous advocate. We would not be able to do the things we do without his support. A, a role that I play is I oversee the Tennessee State Labor and Archives. You probably heard them mention what our Looking Back project that we we've been working on the last few years, is we take roving bands of archivists out to all the communities throughout the state, and we encourage people to bring all their artifacts, you know, their books, their letters, their, their own weapons, whatever it is. And, and what is really cool about that is it allows people the opportunity to really be a part of their nation and their state's history. And uh, it's really neat to see the looks on people's faces when, for the first time, they see something that has been passed down for generations. They didn't even know what they had. You know, the old folk where somebody told them, said, hey, this is this was used in the Civil War. And, you know, kind of winking and nod, they're thinking, yeah, right. And they bring it down. We said, wow, this is when this was, this is from this time period. Here's what it was used for. And they would authenticate those items. And we help people understand the significance that their family and that they played in our nation's history. I by no means the most eloquent speaker you will hear this morning. But I will tell you that we are so grateful that you have come here to honor those who are fallen from your great state. Um, we appreciate that. I don't know about you, as I walk through battlefields, it's a, it's a very moving experience. Very moving. And, uh, and so I, I thank you for traveling the miles that you have just to come and honor those men and women who serve with them as well. Those people who made that sacrifice and played such a deep, deep part and made that sacrifice to build the nation that we enjoy today. We're honored to have you in our state. I'm not going to press you to spend money, but I am going to press you <laughs> to no do it. No problem. But you will. <laughs> but uh, what, I, what I will press you for is I love how Congressman Blackwood said this, and I think it's a great way to say it, is let the, just soak in that history and let it wash over you. And, and let it rain in you so you can really feel what those individuals went through during that time period and, and allow yourself to be transformed and just think back to that period of what they must have gone through to let us have what we have today. Once again, you honor us with your presence. I look forward to my next trip to your great state and I hope this won't be your last visit to ours as well. Thank you very much. Sought me out after I became Secretary of State and made my first meeting of 
the National Association of Secretary of State. That's Mark Ritchie. We're, we're on different sides of the aisle, but I will tell you how great of appreciation I have for Secretary Ritchie, his love of history. Um, he has been an inspiration to me, an encourager to me in helping me do my job better as the head of the Tennessee State Library and Archivist. Um, he has pushed me to push the envelope in Tennessee and gave, given me a greater, a great history lesson every time I visit him. So I hope you'll extend my greetings to him as well when you return. Thank you. Get your butt back here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get in.